The AutoCAD web app now supports uploading and running Lisp routines. To upload a Lisp file, click the Lisp app, and then click Manage Lisp. Alternatively, run the Upload command. The Support File dialog box opens. Here you can upload new Lisp files. You can also choose which Lisp routines run at startup when you open a drawing. In the Lisp palette, you can load routines to the drawing or rename, download, or delete Lisp files. Run Lisp routines using the command line, just as you would in AutoCAD Desktop. One of the most significant enhancements we've made to the count feature in AutoCAD 2023 is the ability to define a specific region of your drawing that you want to count. You can specify a count boundary by dragging a box over the area you want to count, by defining a polygonal counting boundary, or by selecting an existing boundary object. We've also added the ability to select sets of counted objects, giving you more control over the objects that you need to count. Additionally, you can now recall counted objects from count tables that you create, even after you've closed the count palette. Finally, we've added support for both text and hatches. This means AutoCAD can accurately distinguish between blocks with the same geometry but different hatch patterns or text, giving you greater accuracy and more granular control. made several exciting improvements to the floating drawing tabs capability in AutoCAD 2023. Now, when you resize a floating window, after you dock it back and pull it back out again, AutoCAD will remember the previous size you changed the window to. In addition, now the command line will dock at the bottom of the currently active floating window, and the command line will move with you as you switch between floating or docked windows. Further, you can now pin a window so it remains on top even when it is not the currently active window. And finally, you can simply drag a floating window to dock it back to the file tab or right click on the floating window for an option that allows you to quickly snap the window back to the file tab. The new Markup Import and Markup Assist features allow you to take feedback from PDFs and printed drawings and import them directly into your AutoCAD DWG. Here we're using AutoCAD Mobile to scan a printed drawing. The imported feedback is brought into AutoCAD as a trace layer. You can edit the opacity as needed. With Markup Assist, AutoCAD will recognize the written feedback and help you insert it as text directly into your drawing. Imagine a scenario where you're laying out a plan for a restaurant and you need to add more chairs to the tables you've drawn. To do this, you would need to copy the chair and then rotate the chair as separate commands each time, as shown here. However, with the Macro Advisor feature in AutoCAD 2023, AutoCAD is able to recognize this as a frequent command sequence and then alerts you to the availability of a relevant time-saving macro, in this case a macro called Copy Rotate Previous. Clicking View Suggested Macro in the pop-up notification will take you to the Insights tab of the new Command Macro palette, where you can see Copy Rotate Previous, the recommended macro, at the top. You'll also see a description of the macro as well as other potentially valuable macros listed here as well. Even though you only see three recommended macros listed here, the actual list of macros we have to draw upon is much longer. 
This list of macros was carefully curated by a subject matter expert alongside a machine learning algorithm and will continue to grow over time. That said, we only deliver the macros that will be relevant to you based on an understanding and analysis of how you individually use AutoCAD and therefore what macros you are most likely to need. Clicking See More Insights at the bottom of the Insights tab will take you to the My Insights page in the AutoCAD Start tab where you can see all your other usage insights beyond just those related to the macro advisor. But returning to the Copy Rotate Previous macro, if you decide that it's relevant, you can save it to the Saved tab of the Command Macro palette. From the Save tab, if you want to run that macro, all you have to do is select the macro from the palette and select the chair. The macro will then allow you to stitch what was previously individual commands together into a single workflow, saving you valuable time and effort. From the Save tab, you can also edit the macro directly in the classic AutoCAD CUI as shown here. Or you can edit the macro directly from the Command Macro palette via the brand new Command Macro Editor dialog, where you can change the name, the description, add a custom image, or make edits to the macro syntax directly from this new dialog. Finally, from the Saved Macro palette, I can right-click a macro and add a saved macro to the ribbon, which gives me an alternate place to access all of my saved macros. The Push to Autodesk Docs feature in AutoCAD 2022 will allow you to send PDFs from AutoCAD to BIM 360 or Autodesk Docs projects easier and faster. Under the Collaborate tab, the Push to Autodesk Docs palette can be launched. In the palette, the sheets from this drawing populate, but you can add sheets from other drawings and select only the sheets you want to send. And if this is a collection of sheets you plan to send frequently, you can save the sheet set for future use. Once you have the sheets you want to upload, you can select either a BIM 360 or Autodesk Docs project in the drop-down menu. Simply navigate to the correct project and folder and push OK. On the bottom right-hand corner, a notification will populate if there are any errors on the AutoCAD side with sending your sheets. Depending on how many sheets you are sending, it may take some time to upload. In this case, Let's see if the sheets are ready by clicking the link in the palette. This link in the palette will open a browser to the correct BIM 360 or Autodesk doc folder directly. Here, we can see it is currently being uploaded in the folder in BIM 360. This Push to Autodesk Docs feature is available in AutoCAD 2022 and available in a plugin for a few previous versions and is available today in the Autodesk App Store. Sharing drawings with teammates and colleagues can be a time-consuming and frustrating task. Sorting through file folders to find where your drawing was saved and attaching it to an email, only to find that the file is too large for your email provider. Now in AutoCAD, we've introduced Share. Share simplifies collaboration with one button to create a controlled link to your drawing to send to your team. You can differentiate between those who need to view the file and those who need the ability to make edits. Copy the link and send it to your team quickly and easily with only a couple of mouse clicks. The link opens directly within the AutoCAD web app. With Share, we aim to help you collaborate with your teammates and colleagues more efficiently and securely, whether you're in the office or on the go. Building on the trace feature introduced last release, you can now create traces in AutoCAD Desktop in addition to the AutoCAD web and mobile apps. Share a drawing with traces so others can collaborate on your design. You can also contribute to traces created by others. Use the Trace toolbar to hide, 
and display the trace contributions for each contributor. Right click a trace on the palette to remove your contributions from a trace. Thank you.